Hello and welcome back, my beautiful froggy army, to day 30 of designing an island in 30 days without Nintendo Online. Let's see what's going on on the island today. I just dropped a cake. Oh my god. Okay, it's fine. It didn't come out. If the I have a bunk cake and I was going to eat it while I was recording this and it <laughs> fell on my lap. <laughs> Nothing like starting the day in Animal Crossing in your freshly decorated house. Am I right? What are you doing here? Miss Girl invading my yard. Anyways, so I thought it would be fun to do a little recap of all the rules and everything that I've had to follow in these 30 days, just as a little refresher, because it's been a while since we talked about the rules. I have not been allowed to use Nintendo Online or DLC. I have not been allowed to use any features associated with having a Nintendo Online subscription or having Happy Home Paradise. No trading, no visiting people, no nookas on, no treasure islands, nothing. I also haven't had access to any DLC stuff, so no Wardell shop, which would have been amazing for this island, but it's fine. I have been allowed to time travel and that has been my saving grace. I don't think I would have been able to do this challenge without being able to time travel, but we honestly didn't time travel nearly as much as I could have. And of course, the last and final rule being I must finish in 30 days and Technically, I did finish in 30 days because I completed all of the goals, which are to have 10 villagers that I like, each with their own yard. We got Felicity, Bo, Maple, Marina, Shever, Winnie, Mary, Frobert, Mitzi, and Dizzy, and they each have their own decorated yards. I fully upgraded and decorated each building, that being Resident Services, the campsite, the Able Sisters, the museum, and Nook's Cranny, and our final goal was to have at least five other builds complete and I think we did actually surpass five. We technically have six. I think. I, I don't know how to count, really. So those are the rules. Those are the goals. Um, We finished all of them technically yesterday, so we finished a day early. But with that being said, let's do some final touches around the island today, and let's do our very last daily routine. I'm gonna check my mail, look for my bottle on the beach, plant my money tree, and shake my trees. So what I want to do first is go around the island and just clean everything up, get everything situated. I have a lot of fossils. I have a lot of overgrown flowers so we need to deal with all of that so i want to get everything nice and clean and picked up um, i'm gonna go empty this inventory real quick as well and then after we get everything cleaned up i will literally grab like all the items that i have left and we will just go and decorate any empty spaces that we have honestly there's not very many which is kind of surprising but we're just gonna make this island as perfect as can be and also i know a few of you were curious oh raven if this is a 30-day challenge what are you gonna do for uh august 31st. For August 31st, I am going to be doing a final tour of this island. So tomorrow I'll just post like a nice little walkthrough of Lack and we can talk about it and I can talk about all the areas and all kinds of good stuff. So I'm gonna grab my garbage can just in case I gotta throw away some stuff and we're gonna get to that cleanup. Firstly, I'm gonna scoop up these because honestly, like I said yesterday, this empty space can just fill up with these flowers. I don't really care, but I want it to be all the tulips. We don't need different flowers flowers up in here, you know what I mean? And I thought while we do our cleanup on the island, I could talk about what I've learned from this series. I think the number one thing that I've learned is that, wow, I'm actually pretty fast at completing islands. I thought it was going to be quite a stretch to complete this in a month, but it was actually like, you know, I had a good pace going. It took a lot of time and effort, but it wasn't like I was struggling and I was panicking the whole time. Like I was just consistent with it. And that's what really helped me be able to finish this in 30 days time. And I think the main contributor to that was that I did not do really that much terraforming. I started with a base already because I think that if I was going to try to do like a lot of terraforming, then that would have taken me a bit of extra time and maybe it would have been a little bit more stressful. Oh yeah, let's see what's in this present. We got an armchair. Nice. See, we got some overgrown flowers over here. That cannot stand. Mm -mm -mm. Another factor that I think contributed to me being able to finish this island fairly quickly was doing kind of a natural island. If I was going to do like a 
city core island or something like that i i don't think that would take me only 30 days i think that would take me like a whole year i think natural islands have a lot of things that you can easily use to take up space it's just a little more chill for example you can use trees and flowers and big ponds to take up space but on a city core island just for example um that's not really the case i mean you could if you wanted to there's no rules but you know what i mean if you're really sticking to your themes here so i think if you're looking for a little bit of a more chill experience a natural island is definitely the way to go there is so much you can do you can really make it as complicated or as simple as you want for any island why am i burying this in the hole oh my goodness but anyway my point being if you are specifically looking oh stop burying it in the hole please i'm gonna scream okay get away from the holes please raven let's let's walk over here thank you so that's my advice to you if you feel like you're struggling to fill up your island to finish your island if you're struggling to have transition areas between your builds maybe consider some trees consider some flower fields all that kind of good stuff but as always there's no rules you know like if there was rules then it wouldn't be any fun the fun is that there's no rules and you can do whatever you want. So I hope you guys have a blast on your islands, regardless of what you're doing, regardless of how you're playing, regardless of your theme or no theme. I just hope you have a fun time because that's the goal. And I have been having a huge fun time on this 30 day series and I'm so glad that you guys have joined me for it. It's made it so much more special and I'm already thinking, of my next one. I know, I know. Well, somebody suggested that I do a Christmas version of this and I haven't been able to get that out of my head. So this is all of your faults. It's all your faults. You're enabling me to do this. Actually, I'm gonna put that tree back here. Why did I pick that up? That was perfectly fine. Anyway, for this 30 day challenge specifically, I thought Spring Core was gonna be a really good island theme to go with. Um, I could have done no theme and that would have been perfectly fine as well, but I personally like to do themes and I just thought Spring Core was gonna be good. I think I've said it before because we can use a lot of nature. We can do flower fields on flower fields on flower fields. So I definitely feel like flower fields have really saved me from having to use a lot of items and I've gotten away with using a lot of crafted items as well just because a lot of them can fit that vibe again natural islands are kind of similar in that way like if you do cottage core or forest core you can get away with using a lot of the crafted furniture just because it's all like wood and all you have to do is like customize like the wood tone so spring core was a great choice for me honestly i can't think of a better island theme to have done for this challenge, maybe forest core. I could have just filled it up with a bunch of trees, I guess. Another thing that I have gathered from doing this challenge is that uh, money trees, you need to do them every single day. In my personal opinion, I think that money trees are the absolute best consistent source of income that you could do on a small scale. Of course, if you want like millions and millions of bells, uh, try turnips, you know, I tried turnips once. It did not go well, but turnips have the potential to waste all of your money, of course. You know, it's stocks, high risk, high reward. So if you're looking for something more consistent and on a smaller scale, then money trees are definitely the way to go. I've never felt like... I've had like no money, at least on the la the latter end of this series. I know there was maybe a few episodes where I was like, oh no, I have no money. We need to go grind for bells. We need to go sell bugs and blah, blah, blah. But that was only a few times. And then once I started getting those consistent money trees every day, then I feel like I wasn't doing too bad. I felt like I actually had money. So money trees, yeah, they, I am always going to do them now because before I wouldn't really do them. But now on all my islands, yeah, we're doing doing money tree every single day. For nook miles, honestly, just playing the game itself, of course, gives you nook miles. I don't think that I ever came across a amazing way to get nook miles. I had no special tricks or anything. I just think that consistency is key, really. At least do your nook miles plus tasks every day. At least do the times two ones. At least do the times five ones, and I think you'll be pretty good. And I think that's really it for stuff that I kind of learned. Um, some things that I was definitely feeling the loss of, I mean, of course, no Nintendo online features. I could not go on Nookazon and grab anything that I wanted. If I wanted a specific item, I had to figure it out. I never got that cute little like stool recipe. I'll put a picture of it up on the screen. I never got that and I was really missing that. I really, really wanted that item. I was not able to find it during our playthrough, which was pretty unfortunate. But thankfully, I had other stools I could craft, so it wasn't like I was totally missing 
missing like any sort of stool. It was just I was missing that one specific cute one that I wanted. I was also getting pretty lazy getting my crafting villager every day, kind of by the second half or the uh, last half of the episodes. I was like, eh, whatever. I could have probably gotten a lot more recipes and potentially the stool recipe if I checked my crafting villager every day, but I was not. So I would say definitely make yourself your own little daily routine, whatever you want it to be. Check your crafting villager, plant your money tree, you know, get your bottle on the beach, shake all your trees, whatever you want to do. At least on this island, it definitely helped me just be consistent and get all the things that I needed to get and unlock all the stuff that I could unlock. I think if I wasn't as consistent with my money trees and stuff, I would have struggled a lot more. And I just haven't like played like this, like played quote unquote the right way, even though it's not the right way. There is no right way to play, but played the March 2020 way, I guess you could say, even though I don't think we were really time traveling that much in March 2020. But anyway, I haven't played like this in forever where I haven't used, you know, trading and online and all kinds of Nintendo online features. So this was a huge like adaptation for me going from, oh, I'll just go grab whatever item I want for a build, you know, whenever I want to, oh, I don't have that item and I can't get that item and I have a very small chance of finding it in Nooks or in Ables or wherever or in Redship. That was a huge change and it was definitely something that I had to, you know, like deal with every single day and every single time I wanted to do a build. So I definitely feel the pain of no Nintendo Online and I very much applaud anyone who plays with no Nintendo Online because it's a, it's a big difference. It really is. Another thing I definitely noticed was not being able to get all the fruits is low-key kind of a bummer. Like it's so sad to not have just like one of the most basic things which is just like fruit trees like what i only get three stupid fruit trees <laughs> and if you don't know because i have seen a couple of questions of you guys asking me like oh how did you get three different fruit trees you have your starter fruits which in my case it was oranges and then you have your sister fruit which you can find on nook mile islands so mine was peaches and then you have a fruit that your mom will send you in the mail the fruit that my mom sent me in the mail was apples of course that's the only other fruit i have but if you don't have access to the other fruits i can't make any of those pear recipes. I can't make any of the stupid cherry recipes. I can't make any of that, you know, like the furniture recipes and the food recipes. I'm missing out on both. So that's kind of a bummer, but you know, you got to deal with it. At least I got peaches. I really wanted peaches. I feel like they're the cutest fruit tree because, you know, they're pink. I love pink. Kind of wish I had peaches, pears, and I guess oranges would have been fine. I wish that those were my three fruit trees, but whatever. I mean, we may do, you know, we may do. Okay. Okay, so I think I've cleaned up my whole island. Actually, let me check the south part of the neighborhood. I don't think I checked there, but apart from that, I think I checked absolutely everywhere and I picked up every extra flower every stupid little stick, every, oh, not every fossil. Here's another one. Okay, now I've picked up every fossil. Oh, but I can't carry anything, of course. Figures. Um, I have one piece of glowing moss that I stole from somewhere. We'll just plant that there and then I can pick up this fossil. Okay, we have a couple of extra flowers overgrown over here again, even though I feel like I've cleaned this up I don't know how many times and we still have flowers. And you know what I also think is hilarious? I did this entire challenge without the extra row in my inventory. Why do I do this to myself? <laughs> <laughs> I could have gotten it at any point in time. I really could have. There was nothing stopping me, but I just never did. With that, I think that is all of our cleanup done. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some items and we're going to go around and we're going to do last finishing touches. If I want to stick an item somewhere, if I want to put down some custom designs somewhere that's feeling kind of empty. I've got a whole inventory full of stuff. We're going to go. We're on a mission. I am going to have to time travel to get more wheat fields because like I have two in my inventory, but I want to use them around my island. So we need to get more for this little section to finish that off. Winnie, what is this? I know this isn't a move out. What do you want? I feel like if every day of my life were full of excitement, it'd make me a way more awesome pop star. So how about you and me, we do a treasure hunt and turn this day from mild into pop star wild. I totally forgot that your villagers want you to do treasure hunts. Okay, let's do it. Okay, I'm gonna go bury some treasure somewhere on the island. I'm already excited. Uh, okay, let's see. I just dug up literally all my fossils, so this should be pretty obvious where it is. Gonna check down here in the neighborhood. Nope, nope, nope. I don't think so. I don't 
don't think they would bury it on the beach, right? That doesn't make any sense. Is it over here by the Evil Sisters? I don't think so. Doesn't look like it's... Oh, there was something. There was something. Oh, no, it's just a gyro and I forgot. To... Uh, it's just a... Yeah, no. <laughs> bury it again. Go, go, go. Maybe it's up here. It has to be up here. This is like... Oh, yes, yes, yes. This is definitely it. Heck yeah. Let's go see what this is. I'm pretty sure it's just going to be clothes. Honestly, it's just going to be some dumb piece of clothing. Winnie, hey, I found it. Hand over the treasure and I'll pry it open for you. Okay, here you go. Ta-da! It's a ballet outfit. Aw, cute. It goes with our ballet shoes. Oh, what did we get? We got Nook Miles for fulfilling requests. Oh, I love how that's the only one I've done in this whole freaking time. Because, you know, all the other ones that Winnie wanted me to do, um failed miserably it feels good to finally at the very end of the 30 day series get redemption for winnie anyways i was thinking we could continue working on this little path area and maybe work on this i don't even know what would go here just filler stuff honestly but i'm gonna go ahead and start putting some stuff down i'll put some cosmos over here just trying to get rid of stuff in my inventory i'm gonna get rid of this tree right here it's kind of in the way and i am starting up the island design wrap just so we can get the path going it's just kind of easier to do it this way honestly this little tiny section right here is gonna be mostly this custom design path just fills it up pretty nicely and it just makes it a little bit easier for me and while i'm recording i am having a lemon bunk cake from nothing bunk cakes have you guys had nothing bunk cakes they are very good i very much like the lemon one when i went and got this one i saw that they had a strawberry and cream one like strawberries and cream i am kind of mad that i didn't get that one and instead i just got the lemon one which i get every time and it's like oh why didn't i try the new one um i don't have any weeds in my inventory let's see if we can go snatch some um, there has to be some extra over here. Okay, there's some back here. Thank you. But going back to what we were talking about earlier, stuff that I've kind of learned or discovered from doing this 30-day challenge. Like I said before, it's just kind of freeing knowing that like, oh, it's out of my control. I don't have Nintendo Online to like go and get items, you know? So like, I don't know how to describe it. It just feels so freeing and it's just like, ah, just using what I have and I don't have to worry about like getting every single item under the sun and all that kind of stuff. It's just kind of nice. And honestly, it's kind of relaxing and a little bit more chill. Like it would be very chill, very chill if I wasn't on a time limit then. Oh, this would be so fun. Like so chill, such a nice like self-care kind of thing but of course i had to make it stressful to, and add a time limit onto it <laughs> but it was really fun doing that too oh let me also get rid of this tree this is like totally blocking the pottery class what the heck is this doing here it's so funny i've actually had like plenty of trees because of all the money trees that i've been planting since i plant one like literally every day so i haven't even like needed to buy like tree sprouts or anything like that from nooks and this just goes to show how much planting a money tree every single day can do for your island you know it's two things in one you get your trees and you get the monies. I'm gonna do another little section of this path just to connect these two, but just pretty small, pretty small. Okay, this was not as small as I was thinking, but it's fine, it gets the job done. I'm gonna do just a few little pieces of in-game pathing, just trying to finish off this little area right here that's kind of like next to the pottery class. There we go, also sticking this evergreen ash right there just to take up some space. And then there's this section that's next to the pond. We have these two sections next to the pond. I think we're gonna go beach mode here. We're just gonna do some flowers, weeds, custom designs. That's really it. I'll put this little cushion right here on the water just in case, you know, anyone wants to sit and just stare at the pond. Okay, I put down some rocks. I put down a puddle. I have like this pond stone in my inventory. I'm trying to see if we can fit that somewhere here. Let's see. Okay, yeah, that fits right here. And then let's just go in with weeds. There we go. I think that's plenty. You know, this is not really a spot that leads anywhere. There's no reason for you to walk here. So it's fine just like that. Next up, we also have a similar area up here. I've got a bunch of stuff in my inventory. I ate a fruit. We're ready to go. I'm going to scoop up this tree. Of course, I don't have any any room for it. Ah, and I just... No, why didn't I do swap? Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm just gonna decorate this little section first then so we can just get rid of some of the things in our inventory. Let's do that. Gonna do a little flower right there. I have this street organ. Yeah, we're gonna turn this around. I'll put a puddle over here. Maybe some planks up here. And this was the location where we had the chicken Alfredo lonely DIY who was looking out onto the distance into the beach. So in honor of 
of his memory, I am going to put this garden gnome instead. And he's going to be looking out onto the water, hopefully thinking of Chicken Alfredo. Yeah, this is a pretty nice view. Not going to lie. I understand why you like it up here. Okay, going to do another little puddle and a log bench. I thought this would be cute. It's kind of like looking out onto the water as well. Wait, we need some custom designs under that first. What am I doing? Next to it, I think I'm going to do this little mushroom platform. And I'm going to do some boba tea on top of that. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm just gonna do a little custom design circle right here. Just fill that area in. Gonna do a little button custom design. And honestly, I'm feeling like this is pretty good. I think this is good. It's decorated. It's filled in. We're good to go. What else? What else? I don't know what else is feeling on the empty side. I feel like everything is mostly decorated. Um, except for the very top tier. We have not gotten to that and we will not get to that. We don't need to. The, the topmost cliffs... Those are for nobody's eyes. We have this area in front of the restaurant, which I never knew what to do with. And I still really don't. I guess I'll just go in with a little section of path, just a little bit of a chunk of this stuff, just to have something, you know? I wanna do a little carrot because this is near a restaurant, you know? Let's get the little food custom designs. Ah, oh, that looks so cute. Maybe even a puddle at the front? Not near a body of water, Raven, what are you doing? Let's see, on this left side, I'm kind of feeling a mushroom platform. I have a big boy in my inventory. Okay, that looks cute, just like peeking out of the trees like that uh let's see what else can we do i've got a little rocking chair maybe we can have a little rocking chair kind of here in the trees and a little plushie on the side and i think i'm just gonna put some clovers all in here back here just to make it kind of fun back here and i just don't know what else to do i guess i'll put some i don't know some in-game pathing we can do like a little circle i keep forgetting to use my umbrellas to decorate even though i kept buying them and just some more custom designs and honestly i'm gonna call that good good enough this little path section is also pretty empty i don't really know to put here either i'm not going to stress too much about having every single inch you know like decorated i mean don't get me wrong it would be nice but i'm not going to stress myself about it too much i will do a little table and i will do a little chair are they the same color no but you know what I can't be bothered at this point. I will put some bread. I'll do some custom designs. I will do a little flower. Honestly, that's fine. That's good. It doesn't have to be super decorated, like I said. I think that is going to be it for me going around and adding little decorations to places because I think, honestly, everything else is just already done. It's all filled in. Oh, and one of you guys left me an amazing suggestion for what to put in this middle thing. I think we finally found our answer on day 30, the last day. I had this little coconut sprout here today but what you guys suggested was a lily of the valley and i think that's the perfect item because i can run around i can run through it and i don't have to worry about breaking it because you can run through them and they don't care i don't know if it's because i've been playing this island super consistently or i log in every day or what but i feel like my villagers are like so much more active on this island or my past islands i feel like yeah they would walk around in the plaza but they're just like walking and doing nothing here i see them fishing I see them reading. I see them doing things all the time and they're so freaking cute. And I mean, I still do the thing where I just like barely even talk to them. So it's not like I'm doing something special on my end. I don't know. This island just feels very special. The last thing that I want to get done is to finish up this wheat field little surrounding thingy that I'm doing here for some reason. So uh, let's go ahead and order a bunch of wheat fields and then we will time travel to the next day. Okay, I ordered my five wheat fields. Let's see if this... I don't think this will be enough, but... We'll just see how many more we need to order after this. One wheat field, two wheat field, three wheat field, four wheat field, and five wheat field. Honestly, I technically need just two more. So I'm just going to order those two more time travel, grab them, and then we'll just throw those down as well. And we got a fossil here. No, 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 no. I don't think so. Okay, here we go. It's another rainy day, but we got our wheat fields. I'm just going to put them down. So there we go. And so it doesn't look so weird like it's just around like this little section i'm gonna add uh how many more do i have three i'm gonna add three more there we go does that does that look too weird i don't know i think i'm gonna grab some of these extra tulips and fill in that weird awkward space that's there what do we think i think that makes it look a little less awkward it's still a little awkward but it's fine well i guess it's fitting that we time traveled to a rainy day here because 
This is where I say my goodbyes. I mainly started this challenge because I really wanted a passion project. I wanted a big project to work on. I wanted something to sink my teeth into. I wanted something meaty, you know? I wanted an extra large helping of chicken alfredo this time around. And I wanted to provide content for you guys that would be helpful, would be inspiring. And I also wanted to show that it is possible to have an amazing island, like no matter what, no matter the circumstance, no matter if you have Nintendo Online or not, no matter if you don't have a ton of time to work on it, no matter if your villagers are very rude and interrupt your... Yeah, uh-huh. That's what I thought, Winnie. But anyway, in my attempt to have a nice big passion project for myself and Winnie... Girl, come on. No, 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 no. Let's, let's go. Let's go. No, don't walk that way. Yep, yep, yep. Thank you. <clears throat> but anyway, in my attempt to prove that you can have a beautiful island even without Nintendo Online, I have found myself really, really enjoying Animal Crossing again. Like, I was so excited to log in every single day in Animal Crossing. I was so excited for what was to come next. Like, I would film and record, guys, I was filming and recording for like two to three hours every single day. And just for context, uh, whenever I post like my regular videos, like a speed build or a let's play, I usually only record for like an hour, maybe an hour and a half. So I was significantly doubling, tripling the amount that I was usually recording for. You know, I would usually just play for an hour and that's like really it. That's like all I would really want to uh, play for the day. This whole new way of playing Animal Crossing, well, it's not really a new way it's just new for me because i usually play with nintendo online you know this whole new way of playing animal crossing has just been so refreshing and i know a lot of you guys relate a lot of you guys say that this series have made you get back into animal crossing this series inspired you to pick up your switch and i am so incredibly grateful and honored that i could be that inspiration for you i am so glad that this series has had such an impact on so many of you thank you so much for watching this series this has been one of the most amazing and fun things that i've ever done on youtube ever like really <laughs> so big thank you big thank you from the bottom of my heart if you can't tell i'm rambling because i don't want to end the video <laughs> but don't worry tomorrow i will be posting a final island tour so you will get one last look at the island you will get one last video from lack and with that that is going to be all from me today Thank you so much for joining me on the last and final day of our 30 day challenge. I design an island in 30 days without Nintendo Online. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon.